Welcome to another useful DIY video. Once you have learned it, it can benefit the rest of your life. This time, we are talking about how to DIY a tool to help you to tie a knot. I am not talking about your marriage, there's no tool to fix it. If you accidentally come to this video and looking for marriage advice, you will get disappointed. Before getting into making the tool, I want to share a secret on how to cut the cardboards effectively, especially after you bought the furniture from IKEA. There's a lot of cleanup to do. If you use a regular cutter or utility knife, you will end up getting stuck just like this. The trick is to use a carbine blade. The result is amazing. Any brand is fine, just look for any other knife with carbine blade in your local hardware store and you can cut any boxes like a pro. If you think that's sharp, think again, look at this. Can your kitchen knives do this? If not, remember to subscribe. I will post a video showing you how to fix your kitchen knives and cut the chicken and beef like Gordon Ramsay. For recycling, large pieces are not always necessary to be cut in half. You can just cut a line and fold it. Now you have a stack of cardboards. We are going to make a tool to help bundle this up. I am using 1x2x6, I got it from the local hardware store. I mark it at 4 and 3 quarter from the edge. Then draw a line at around 45 degrees and cut the wood using your favorite handsaw. With the wood on the bench vise, I am drawing a small rectangle just like this. Then make a hole using your cutlass drill. Follow the pencil mark and use the chisel to make all the edges smooth and nice. If your chisel is sharp enough, you don't need this step. I am using a file to finish it up. Next, drill a small hole from the top. We are going to insert a metal wire right after this. For cosmetic, you may want to make the surface a little bit smoother using a hand plane. Because it's not fine woodworking, you can just use sandpaper if you want. Of course, I smooth out the edges too. For the bottom, I used another file to make it round shape, so it can fit better when I hold it in my hand. There was a trade secret I shared with you last year. I used the wire shirt hanger and I did not buy any drill bit for the pilot hole when I relocated the outdoor faucet. You need to check that out if you missed it. I will post the link in the description. With the leftover from that project, I insert a small piece into the tool. The wire is extremely hard. There is not enough space to change the shape in that small rectangle. We will come to that and fix it a little bit later. With the wire inserted in there, use a sharpie to mark it. Then add 2 inches on top, that's the total length you need. Cut it off using the hacksaw. Next, hammer at the sharpie mark to 45 degrees. You should have something similar to this. Now, you need to do the same on the tip. This time, we are doing half an inch at 45 degrees. Finally, it should look like this. Very easy. We need to make the wire rotate, but at the same time without losing it. For me, I am using a soldering gun to attach a droplet of metal at the end. It's not a bad idea to use epoxy putty to wrap around it. Of course, there are multiple ways to do this. Use your creativity to solve this problem. You can do some final touches to make it look nice. Well, it's not extremely pretty, but it's functioning properly. Just like my wife. It's going to work well. Let's put it to the test on several pieces of wood. 
Notice that I did not tie a single knot. All I did was to leave roughly 8 to 10 inches of slack and put the tool onto the twine. Then rotate it naturally. Clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. It tied up the wood pretty tight, isn't it amazing? This tool is extremely useful for anyone who got sick of handling recycled materials. You can get the job done faster and easier. You may ask, does it work on all kinds of rope and twine? The answer is nope. You need to look for nylon twine like this. You can find it in your local dollar store. They are cheap materials and is popular in Asia. I also saw this in a Korean supermarket too. Another place you can find this is at your local gardening center. Sheridan Nurseries in Toronto carries this. Finally, the product has to pass QA. Here is our QA inspector. I hope this video can inspire all of you on your DIY and home improvement projects. My goal is to share my experience with you and I hope you will find it helpful. Together we make our world better. Give this a thumbs up if you find some good information in this video. You may want to check out other videos on my channel. I am pretty sure you will love them. Remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.